Thanks, Eric. I'll be more than happy to take you through the Anywhere 365 Attendant Console for Microsoft Teams. First of all, let's have a look at the login in process. We have created a single sign-on experience, making it simple and user-friendly for the operator to log into the attendant. As you can see, we have added an attendant icon into the rail within Microsoft Teams. This will allow the operator to run the software within the Teams environment. We also have the option to pop the application outside of Teams. This is down to personal preference. In the conversation panel, we have a simple and clear queuing mechanism. This will allow operators to provide a clear overview of their incoming calls into the system. Underneath the conversation panel, we have our directory. This allows the operators to search through the Azure AD to find contacts that they're trying to transfer the calls to. There are also other ways of creating contacts, such as integrating with Outlook for personal contacts, or the operator can create their own contacts within the system. Within the directory, we have a multitude of attributes that can be stored for each contact, in addition to photos, again, that we can pull from Azure AD, and presence information, which we pull using the Microsoft Graph API from Microsoft Teams. We can add contact notes to a particular caller, alerting the operators where to transfer calls to, or alternatively, information related to that contact. For instance, announce all calls, working from home on Mondays. The operator can also create their own favorite list by adding the favorite star to some of the users within the company. This will allow operators to sort on their favorites by clicking on the filter at the top of the screen. This can be used to create a list of regularly used contacts. The idea is we want a fast, efficient way of finding someone within the directory. We can also use the search option. This will allow the operator to search on a number of attributes. So we can search for first name, last name, department, number, or even email address to try and find the person we'd like to transfer the call to. Upon selecting a user, we have any other information that we have stored about that contact, including their department, organization, and any additional numbers we have stored for that particular user, which we can call by clicking on the phone icon or even transfer to if we have an incoming call. We also have a live view of the contact's calendar. This will allow the operator to inform the caller when that contact will next be available. And finally, we have our homepage. Our homepage is composed of a number of applications or widgets that we have created to allow the operator to add context to their experience. We believe that providing as much information to the operator will allow them to handle their call in a more efficient manner. For example, I can add a Twitter widget to the operator's homepage. This will provide the operator with a live feed to the company's Twitter page. If a call then comes through to the switchboard in relation to a tweet that's recently been announced, for instance, there is a job available or a promotion that's running with the marketing department, the operator can clearly see what the caller is referring to and then transfer the call to the relevant department. We have created our own widget library with a number of other widgets, such as call history widgets and web pay widgets. We are also looking at integrating with business widgets. This will allow the customer to integrate with a CRM system, such as Dynamics, Salesforce, SAP, and many more. When an incoming call is then presented to the operator, we can display information regarding that caller, such as open invoices, tickets, or orders relating to that customer. The concept of our software is to provide as much information as possible, all within a single pane of glass, so that the operator can handle their call as efficiently as possible. There were also a number of different preferences that we can configure within the operator environment. We can change the colors, the languages, and also the layout of the screen. In this example, we have a larger queuing area and a larger, and a larger directory or we can simplify the view and just have the queuing area and the directory. As our application is supported with the mouse, keyboard, and touchscreen, this will allow users to use our application from a tablet or a smartphone. In these situations, you are limited on the amount of space that you have, so therefore a more simplistic view may be more appropriate. So let's place a call into the system.
As you can see, we have an incoming call into the Anywhere 365 external queue. If we highlight our caller, we have any additional information that we have stored about that caller. For instance, in this example, it's one of our suppliers. They're calling from the ordering department and it's the account manager that's calling through. We can add additional contact notes to that caller, such as please transfer calls to Tim, who is the account manager for this particular supplier. If the caller is an un calling from an unrecognized number, we can add their information to the system so that on the next time they call, we recognize their details. To answer the call, we need to click the incoming call icon, accept call, which will then pass the information to Microsoft Teams to send the call to the user's extension. We can then answer the call within Teams. And we're now talking to our user. To transfer the call, there are a number of different options to use. We can simply drag and drop the call onto one of our users from the directory, and this will perform a blind transfer. As we can see, the status of our user has changed to busy, so we know that call was successfully delivered to our recipient. I will now place another call into the system. Again, we can answer the call. This time, we can look up the user from the directory. Rather than performing the drag and drop transfer, we can select the blind transfer icon, which will again send that call as a blind transfer. Now I'm going to place another call into the system. In this example, I'm going to show you how to complete an announced transfer or a consultative transfer. Rather than clicking the blind transfer icon, we can now click the initiate call icon. This will, allow, this will allow the operator to place a call to the recipient while putting the initial caller on hold. Our recipient has now accepted the call, so we are now in a conversation between the operator and the recipient. Hello, Tim, I have a call for you. We have John Smith on the line. Would you like to take that call? The operator has the option to end the call and go back to the initial caller, or they can complete the transfer by clicking the transfer key. This has now sent that call to the recipient with the operator having dropped out of that call. In this example, I'm going to show you one of the missed call alerts that we can configure within the system. Once the call has been answered, if the caller would like to speak to someone in our directory who is currently away from the desk, the operator then has the ability to send them a message. Upon clicking the email icon, this creates an email template. It adds the operate it adds the email address automatically of the recipient from the directory. It pulls all of the information from the live call into the subject matter. In addition to this, it will add all of the information from the operator handling the call. So all the operator needs to add is a subject, for instance, regarding invoice. Send. This is a very fast and efficient way of sending a missed call alert to somebody who is unable to answer that call. Alternatively, we could have searched for somebody else within that department if the call was urgent, or we could have referred to the calendar of that particular user to see when they would next be available. I feel that by offering multiple options to the caller, this allows us to this allows you to provide a more efficient service to your customers. Having developed attendant consoles for over 25 years, we feel that we are able to provide a very fast, easy and efficient way of being able to handle calls within your attendant console environment. In addition to simplicity, we feel that bringing in additional functionality, such as integration with Twitter and CRM databases, really allows us to utilize the power of modern technology while also harnessing our experience of having developed these systems for over 20 years. That concludes our short demo today. So back over to you, Eric.